Patrol! High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol! Now today's Space Patrol adventure, The Forbidden Planet. Through a strange series of events, Commander Corey finds himself in a baffling position. Gordon Spangless, a wanted criminal, has escaped from the solar system and is now somewhere near Octrona, a planet 75 light years away. At the same time, the commander has in custody on Terra the space pirate Tekoja, a fugitive from Arctrona. For several hours, Buzz and Happy have been trying to contact the planet Arctrona on the hyperspace transmitter in the commander's central office on Terra. Manicori of Terra headquarters, solar system, calling Arctrona Space Center, station GR-98, urgent. Uh, we just aren't getting through, sir. Nenakoi on planet Terra near Galactic Point 75, calling Arctrona Space Center, station GR-98. Arctrona Space Center to Commander Corey. You got him. I've been trying to contact you for several hours. I want to notify you officially that the United Planets has one of your Arctrona citizens in custody here on Terra. You have one of our citizens? Yes. If you'll tell me what the customary procedure is, I'll be glad to return him. Who is he? How did he get to your solar system? Well, his name is Tokoja. He came here to... Tokoja? The government of Arctona is not interested in the return of Tokoja. Well, there's something else you ought to know. One of our criminals is on his way to Arctona. He's in a ship piloted by Tokoja's partner, Rin. I see. Well, Rin will give us no great concern without Tokoja. Well, perhaps. But this Spangler's can give you trouble. Plenty of it. With Rin's help, Spangler's plans to steal cargoes from Arctona and trade them here in the solar system. You want us Capture your men, Spangler. Is that it? Well, it would certainly be to your own interest as well as ours. Possibly. But our patrols are occupied with other matters quite distant from Arctona. We can't spare the men and ships for an organized hunt for two criminals. Would your government give me permission to come to Arctona in one of our own star drive ships and search for Spangler? You want to bring an odd ship into our solar system to hunt down this one criminal, Spangler? Right. You promise not to interfere with any of your ships or your citizens. In return for this, uh, this hunting license, we'll also give you the Latronium Spangler has aboard his ship. This is a problem for the High Command to consider. I'll turn it over to them right away. Well, how long before I get an answer? Ordinarily, it might be several days. But personally, I think your offer of the Latronium will speed things up considerably. Contact me in one hour. Good. It will speed up communication if you call the Chief Coordinator at Station GR-98. Chief Coordinator, Bob Allow. Well, I'd say we could be on our way to Arctrona in an hour, Commander. Right, and we'll take the code you with us. The Arctrona government may not have any use for him, but we will. 75 light years from the solar system, a strange spaceship emerges from star drive. Two men peer at a viewscope screen where a remote planet gleams like a single tiny bead on a black velvet cloth. That's our tone, Spangler. Oh, yeah. Now, Rim, our first problem is to unload the Lutonium we got in a cargo hold. Where can we get the best price for it? There's Cadrone on the other side of the planet. Tokoja has several contacts there. Fine. We'll go to Cadrone, and I'll meet Tokoja's contact. But you're in a strange solar system. You're not familiar with our customs, our language. Uh, you can lend me your translator. Didn't you tell me that our Trona is full of people from other solar systems all doing business with each other? Yes, of course. Well, and the right people here that I got Litronium to sell, I won't have any trouble. Get to the controls and set a vector for our Trona. At the Terra spaceport, Buzz and Happy board the Terra 5. With them is the Art Trona criminal, Tekoja. As Happy guards Tekoja, Buzz steps to the controls of the newly installed rocket cockpit and cuts on the hyperspace transmitter. When we get you okay to blast off, Hap, we'll take Tokoja back out and lock him up. Yes, sir. You have no right to take me back to Arctrona. If I committed a crime, it was in your solar system. What's the matter, Tokoja? You think you'll get better treatment from us strangers than you will from your own government? Now, hold it, Ham. Medicoy and the planet Terra calling Chief Coordinator of Orable at Arctrona Space Center, station GR-98. Commander Corey on Terra calling... Coordinator Bobble here, Commander. 
I was waiting for your signal. Has the high command made its decision? Yes, it has. And I'm happy to tell you that our government has granted you a third galaxy passport, Class 8. Now, what does that mean? You are free to travel anywhere in our planetary system. Oh, good. I'm blasting off immediately. I won't contact you again unless it's urgent. I understand. This agreement between you and the high command will be kept secret, except from our patrols, of course. Oh, thanks for your cooperation, Barbo, and my compliments to the high command. Corey out. Hey, that's great, sir. It sounds like they really want us to come to Arctrona. It's a trap, Corey. Why won't you believe me? Well, here's one reason. If your government was crooked, Sokoja, you'd be a government agent so you could get first grab at the graving. Have stand by for blast off. Standing by, sir. Close the port. Fire jet. Up, ship, and away. Phone. What are we going to do? Commander Corey is coming to Arctona to get us. Shut up a minute, Ren. Let me think. Let's see. We heard Corey tell Arctona Space Center that he wouldn't contact them again unless it was necessary. Yes. Well, instead of trying to hide from Corey, we will go on the offensive. Attack him as soon as he reaches the Arctona system. But how can we find him? He can go anywhere without fear of the patrol. But we have to be careful. Then we'll lure him to a place where patrols are least likely to be. Some place far off your regular space lane. An unoccupied, barren planet, perhaps. But there's no such planet in the Arctona system. Except Gajir. All right, then. We'll lure him to Gajir. Oh, no, thanks. That's impossible. Nobody goes to Gajir. Why not? Because it's forbidden. Since the war with the Kralix, a century ago, Gajir's not safe. The air is still polluted with the poison spread by the Kralik bombs a hundred years ago. Yes, yeah, go on. Cities are desolate ruins. The spaceports are ships that never blasted off. Without a spacesuit, no human could live more than ten minutes on Gajir. Well, what an ideal planet for my friend Corey. Hey, but how will we get him there with it without getting there ourselves? Why shouldn't we go there? Haven't you got spacesuits aboard? Yes, yeah, but the atmosphere had corroded the suits in an hour. We wouldn't dare land, except for a very few minutes. All the better. We'll use our space phone close to Gajir. We'll make Corey think we're hiding out on the planet in one of the cities. Well, that's impossible. Gajir is deadly. Does Corey know that? You see, Rin, you think as an Arctronian. But I know how Corey's mind works. It may take time, but I'll bring Corey into the deadly air of Gajir. the solar system 75 light years behind them, Buzz and Happy emerge from hyperspace into the planetary system of Arctrona. The Arctronian criminal Tekoja is safely locked up in an aft compartment. As Happy checks the view scopes on the panel of the rocket cockpit, Buzz intently monitors the spacophone frequency. Nothing in the view scope yet, sir. We might cruise around Arctrona for months without finding Spangler. Sooner or later, he and Rin are going to try to contact someone by space phone. Triangle to Yellow 5. Commander, it's in English. No, have Arctronian translated into English. Triangle repeating to Yellow 5. Yellow 5 is one of Tokoja's code contacts. Yellow 5, get this. Sunlight available here at position J. Have get a fix in that signal. Yes, sir. Repeat from Triangle. Sunlight available at position J at west end of space trip under the dome. I'm getting a fix, sir. The temperature is high now at position J, but it will be cool in two hours. Hold off till then. Triangle out. Well, Happy, that signal comes from that planet over there, sir, about 300,000 DUs distant. We're in luck, Happy. It was probably Tokoja's pal, Rin. At least somebody dealing in Latronium. Well, how can you tell, sir? None of that message made any sense to me. Triangle is the code word Tokoja used for himself. Naturally, Rin would use it, too. Yellow 5 is one of his contacts. Oh, Tokoja's brainograph test gave you that, huh? Yes. And sunlight... The code for Latronium. Yeah, then there's some Latronium at position J, whatever that is. Yes, the west end of a space strip under a dome. That suggests a city. But what did he mean about high temperature? Well, that means there are Trona patrols around. They'll cool off in two hours. Meaning that it'll be safe to pick up the Latronium then. Right. Set up the space patrol periscope, half I plot a hyperspace vector for that planet. 
Buzz brings the ship out of star drive at a point far enough from the planet to avoid detection by a view scope on the surface. Then, with the aid of the powerful periscope that works on hyperspace principles, he scans the planet. First, he covers a large area from a long-range view, looking for cities. Then the periscope seems to zoom down for a close inspection. Something very strange about that planet, huh? There are cities, but there's no sign of human activity. The streets are completely deserted. A deserted planet. A wonderful place for crooks to hide out. And that may be the explanation of the patrols we heard Lynn mention. For some reason, this planet is off limits. Forbidden. I wonder why. Well, there might be a military reason, huh? But a planet is set aside for scientific experiment. I think we've found what we're looking for, Hap. The space strip? Yes. A dome at one end. Here, take a look. Yes. Wow. It should fit the description, all right. And there's a spaceship there, too. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't look quite like the one Spangless escaped in, but he and Rin may have changed to another ship. Well, how about bringing Chakoji up front? He could give us some help. Without the brainograph, we couldn't be sure he was telling the truth. We're running a risk, Cap, but we rely on our own judgment. Under the dome, the message said. That means they're not in a spaceship, I'd say. We'll set down between the ship and the dome. Have your ray gun ready. The instant the ship lands, we'll jump out and head for the building with the dome. Stand by to open in the hatch. I'll apply the repeller ray. Yes, sir. Open the hatch. Let's go. When we're out of the ship, run for the high wall near the dome. Get out of the open as fast as you can. Right, sir. Duck low and keep running. Yes, sir. Far so good. We're going the wall to the gate and into the dome building. Hey, Commander. I feel sort of sick. So do I. There's something strange about this air. Maybe it was that sprint across the space strip. Oh, Commander, there's a spaceship. Get back to Terra 5, Hat. Sanglis and Lynn have tricked us. That's their ship. Come on. Oh, Commander, I, I can't make it. I can't. Get on your feet, Hap. We... Oh. Gordon Spangler, fleeing to Arctrona with the Arctronian criminal Rim, used a false spaceophone message to lure Commander Corey and Happy to the forbidden planet of Gajir. Leaving their spaceship, the space patrollers crept toward a domed structure where they believed Spangless and Brim to be hiding. Suddenly, they were overcome by the poisonous atmosphere of the forbidden planet. Spangless and Wren have just landed their ship. Now in spacesuit, they are standing over the unconscious figures of Buzz and Happy. This is unnecessary and dangerous. Korean cadet are finished. Or they will be in a few minutes. Ah, uh, what are you worried about? These spacesuits will protect us. Not for very long with this poison. A few minutes... Look what happened to Corey. Look. Corey moved. He's still alive. He can't last long. Neither can we if we don't get back to our ship. Wait a minute. I just had a great idea. Is there a chance to save them? Save them? I thought you wanted them destroyed. Don't hurt you. Can we save them? If we get him into the ship right away. Good. You take the cadet and I'll carry the commander. But not to our ship. To theirs. Are you crazy? Don't you see? Corey has permission to go anywhere in the Arctrona system. In his ship, we can be safe. What about the Latronium? Well, can you think of a better place to store it than right here? You're right. We can go to Cadron City on Arctrona, make a deal for the Latronium, and then... Come on. Let's get these men into the ship. A few moments later, Terra 5 rises on a shaft of flame from the poison ground of the Forbidden Planet. With the help of Rin, Spangler sets the vector for Arctrona. Buzz and Happy lie motionless on the deck of the control compartment where the two criminals roughly dump them. Oh, oh. Hearing a moan from Happy, Spangler turns from the controls and walks toward the helpless space patrol. Well, you're still alive, are you? Commander. Have her. Have her, you all right? 
I guess so, but I sure feel sick. Hey, what happened? We're back in our ship. That's right, Cadet. Uh-oh. Commander, look. It's rat face. Now, is that any way to speak of a man who saved your life? If you'll pardon my suspicious nature, Spangler. What's behind us? Heroic rescue. You'll find out, Corey. Rin, our passengers have revived. Better keep an eye. Rin! Rin, where are you? Coming, Spangler. Oh, hurry up. I want to... Oh. Kikoja. So you're aboard. Yes. My friend Rin was good enough to release me from the aft compartment. What's the matter, Spanglish? You seem surprised. Well, I, uh... <laughs> it just then occurred to me that Cory would bring you here from Terra. Uh, Rin, you guard our prisoners. I'll check our vector. Just a moment, Spanglish. If you recall, Rin is my assistant. I will give him what orders are necessary. I'd like to remind you that if it hadn't been for me, you would be in no position to give orders to anyone. And I would like to point out that you escaped from your solar system and my ship. We are now on the Arctona system. Your survival here depends on my knowledge and my influence. Uh, please don't misunderstand. I have no intention of taking over. We're partners, Takoja. Partners. Fine, we're partners. Rin. Yes, Takoja. Our prisoners seem recovered from the effects of the Gajir atmosphere. Take them back out. Right. On your feet, both of you. Come on. Hey, take it easy. Yes, friend. Remember, Corey, you are unarmed and outnumbered. What are you going to do with us? I'll decide that after we reach my hideout near Cadron. All right, get moving, both of you. Now, Spanglis, I want you to explain what you know of the controls of Corey's ship. Challenged by Arctrona patrols, the Terra 5 sets down near the city of Kedron. At gunpoint, Buzz and Happy are led from the ship into a building used by Takoja as a headquarters for his criminal activity. All right, Tori, you and the cadets sit down. Watch them, Spanglis. All right, Takoja. But if you take my advice, you'll get rid of them as soon as possible. They may be useful. For a time. Well, look, I told you. We're right near a large city. The Arctona patrols probably have seen my ship. They're sure to investigate. There are ships from many solar systems on Arctona at all times, Corey. Your ship will not excite special notice. Yes, but they know why I'm here, to capture Spangler. I heard your conversation with the Arctona Space Center. They will not try to contact you for fear of tipping me off. You can't expect help from the Arctona patrols, Corey. They're much too busy to bother. After I make arrangements to sell the Latronium... We'll return to Gazier for my ship. And you will disappear. Coach, we're in trouble. What is it, Ren? I just picked up a message from the Arctona Space Center. The patrol spotted our cargo ship on Gazier. And they know there is Litronium aboard. They'll end a pilot in the spacesuit and blast off with the ship. Wait a minute, Spanglis. Ren, what else did you hear? They think Spanglis and I landed on Gazier to escape Corey. They figured we left the ship and are lying dead somewhere in the deserted city. Good. That gives us time. How? Rin, did the patrol ship land? No. They made their observation from the upper atmosphere. Uh, just as I thought. No one wants to go near the Forbidden Planet if they can help it. Spanglish, you and Corey made the only landings on Gazier in 30 years. The high command is going to be very careful about sending men there, even for Latronium. Hmm. And then while the high command is stalling around, we can get the Latronium. The government won't be in any hurry now that they figure we're finished. Wait a minute. Now they'll try to contact Corey and tell him he can go back to the United Planet. Yes, you're right. And when they can't reach him, they'll start looking for him. We better get rid of Corey's ship right away. Yes. And I know how we can turn this whole situation to our advantage. How? We'll take Corey and the cadet in their ship and blast off. Rin, you follow in one of my other ships. One with an atomic space cannon. Yes, the code. What are you going to do? I'll explain when we're out in space. Come on. With Spanglis at the controls, the terrified blasts off from Arctona. Several million DUs from the planet, the Koja carefully checks the view scope. No ship is in sight, except a small cruiser piloted by Rin. This is as good a place as any. Corey, come up here. Up to the controls, Corey. You're going to send a space upon message back to Terra. Sure, I'd be glad to. However, I shall dictate the message. Wait a minute, the Koja. Isn't that inviting trouble? Exactly. That's my purpose. I am going to create an interstellar incident. 
trouble between Arctona and the United Planets. Corey? I'm listening. Get on the hyperspace transmitter and call your headquarters on Terra. Tell them that the Arctona government has violated your agreement. Tell them you've been trapped, that Arctona patrols are attacking your ship. Go on, Corey. I won't do it, Coach. Oh, I think you will. With a little persuasion. Well, this is an excellent idea, to go, Coach, the patrol will be our break. They will demand an explanation. Possibly threaten retaliation. Yes, and Arctona, of course, will deny attacking Corey's ship. <laughs> there will be accusations, hatred, probably violence. Yes. And the Arctona patrols will be too busy with other matters to worry about our shipload of Litronium. There's just one thing wrong with your plan. I won't make the call. Cut on that space of all... <coughs> Go ahead. Be me unconscious, but I won't do anything to endanger the lives of innocent people. You won't? Would you do anything to avoid harming an innocent person? If I could, yes. Fine. Now make that call, or I'll destroy Cadet Happy right here before your eyes. That makes a difference, doesn't it? Be sensible, Curry. After all, that message may not bring war between the planets, even a divorce. And you save your friend's life. You're going to do away with us anyway. Perhaps I shall destroy the cadet and let you live, Corey. And you can always remember that you saw Happy crumple at your feet when you could have... All right, Dakota. I'll make the call. And no tricks. I'll have a gun pointed at Happy every second. There's to be no mention of me or Spangler. You're being attacked by Arctona patrols. I understand. Manicori aboard Terra 5 in the Arctona planet system, calling Space Patrol Headquarters Terra. Manicori aboard Terra 5, calling Space Patrol Headquarters Terra. Corey, don't wait for an answer. Go ahead. Manicori calling Terra. This ship is at the mercy of Arctona forces. Right now, Arctona patrol ships are converging upon the Terra 5. There's no chance of escape. But I won't give up without a fight. Corey, out. Excellent, Corey. Yes, that was very convincing. And now I'll contact Rin and the other ship. When he joins airlocks, Spanglish, you and I will go aboard. But first, we better take care of Corey and the cadet. Just knock them out. When we pull away on the other ship, we can blast the Terra 5 to pieces. All right, call Rin. Oh, uh, Corey, I want to compliment you on your space phone call to Terra. I never thought you'd be able to... Lie so convincingly? I wasn't lying, Spangler. Huh? If you glance at the viewscopes, you'll see that Arctona ships are converging on us. Spanglish, why weren't you watching? Well, I, I was watching the cadet. Get to those controls. We've got to get away from here. Cut into Star Drive. Oh, that fool Rin could have warned us. Never mind, Rin. Just get into Star Drive. Don't you know how to operate this ship? Oh, let me alone. You watch Corey and... Hey, hey, go, go, look out! Oh, get him half of your start! One down, one to go. Get the weapon, sir. Yes, sir. Watch it while I contact our Tornus Space Center. Okay, Commander. What about Wren and the other ship? I'll take a look. Hey, his rockets are off. One of the Arctona patrols must have turned on a power inhibitor beam. Yeah, uh, I wonder if they'll do it to us. Yeah, well, after that message the Koja made me put out, I could hardly blame them. I'll explain to their space center. Then Corey aboard United Planet Space Patrol Battle Cruiser, terrified, calling Arctona Space Center, station GR-98. Arctona Space Center, Chief Coordinator Bobble here. Are you in trouble, Commander? That depends on the patrol ships that are closing in on us. Everything is under control aboard ships. Good. The patrol ships were following you in case you were in trouble. One of the pilots was puzzled by that small cruiser that trailed you from Cadell. Now that was the Koja's pal, Rin. The ship is being boarded now, I see. Rin? I thought he and Spangrat were on Gajir. Uh, no. Spanglis is here with me. So is the coach. You mean that you've already captured the men you came after? Yes. There's one we'd like to get rid of. I'll send one of the patrols to your ship to pick up the coach. Arctona is very much obliged to you, Commander. Well, thanks for the visitor's permit. And don't forget your Latronium. It's in the coach's ship when goes here. I'll notify the high command. Thank you. As soon as we unload the coach, we'll return to Terra. Corey out. Now let's see if we can bring the coach around. I'll be coming for him pretty quick. Yes, sir. Say, hey, Commander, how about that message they made you send to Terra? Uh, they'll think we're in trouble. No, Hap. Headquarters won't pay any attention to that message. Why not? Well, fortunately, it never occurred to Tokoja to check the setting on the translator. If headquarters heard that call for help, it wouldn't mean a thing to them. Huh? Nobody on Terra understands a word of Oxonia. <laughs> This 
is the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.